So I wanted to take a chance before we actually end up seeing any Enchantress gameplay, which I would imagine we're going to end up seeing later on this week. I wanted to take a chance now to talk about whether we're actually going to get this Raven premiere skin a ton of people have been talking about. The idea of Raven returning to the game is pretty exciting for a lot of people. Obviously, there's a ton of Teen Titans fans out there who were a little bit disappointed for not getting Beast Boy. Obviously, they were super excited when they got Starfire, but Raven's non-inclusion in the game obviously is a little bit disappointing for them. That being said, there's always the possibility of her being a premiere skin for Enchantress, especially because they share somewhat similar powers. They're both magical, so in that sense, they share the same powers, but magic is a very broad term and some people th might think I'm a little bit bold for making this video now because we haven't even seen the gameplay of Enchantress yet but I'm gonna go ahead and throw out my prediction because I don't want to get anyone's hopes up so many people are excited about this theoretical Raven premiere skin but my prediction is that it's not going to happen why don't I think it will happen Netherrealm has publicly stated a lot of the reasons we don't have some characters in the game is because of pre-established movesets I think l a direct question was asked to Ed Boon at some point about Sinestro for Green Lantern it might have been that combination. If it wasn't, it was some other combination of a character who wasn't in Injustice 2 and was in Injustice 1. And he directly responded by saying, hey, look, we don't want to bring back a character with a premiere skin because they already have a pre-established moveset that they had in Injustice 1. And now, obviously, most of you know where I'm going with this. Raven was an Injustice 1, and for that reason it seems fairly unlikely to me that we're going to get her an Injustice 2, at least as a premiere skin. It sucks for all of the people out there who are super passionate Raven fans, Netherrealm's never going to stop making DC games unless something catastrophic happens, so don't count out Raven for any future title, but I don't think she's showing up in this one. Sorry for the short video today, I just wanted to get my opinion about this out here because I saw a lot of people talking about the Raven premiere skin, and I saw a bunch of people getting pretty excited about it, and I don't want people's hopes to be too high, besides you would rather your hopes be low and your expectations be low and then be spectacularly surprised anyway, wouldn't you? Rather than having your hopes up high, your expectations up high, and then being sadly disappointed. Just all the evidence we have in front of us suggests that we probably aren't getting Raven. Regardless, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I've got a pretty big goal this month to try and hit 15,000 subscribers, or not this month, but in January. I don't think it's gonna happen, but that's my objective. 3,000 subscribers roughly in one month. Can we do it? That's a lot of, that's a lot of videos I'm gonna have to make but I'm gonna make it happen. I also want to apologize for not uploading super consistently this month, and that's mainly been because of the holiday break. My family's home, they're, they're at my house, so it's become a lot harder to make videos. I'm staying up until like 8 a.m. in order to keep making videos so that I'm not making noise while they're asleep, but they're not making noise during my recording time. So it's just a little bit awkward right now to make videos. So occasionally I have to do shorter videos like this or some days I won't upload, but that will all be going back to normal at the beginning of next week. Like I said, thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you in tomorrow's video. Well, if there is one.